Greetings, awakened masters of the new earth. Today is day 15 of our 33 days of discourses of the I Am Presence. If you've been following along up to now, you should be experiencing the power of the I Am Presence as long as you are practicing every day these sacred mantras and the teachings within the discourses. You should be experiencing powerful activations, transformations, and manifestations. So please let us know in the comments what you're experiencing so far. If this is the first discourse transmission that you're listening to, please go back to day one and follow through each day. Listen to one transmission per day for 33 days. And let us know in the comments so we can follow along with your journey. And know that I am the way the truth, and the life. I am that I am, and I am the resurrection and the life. The I am presence is God in action. What we call God is the still white magnetic light at the center of all things, so that stillness in action, in motion, in movement, is the I am presence experiencing itself through the sacred vessel, through our six senses, through our awareness, through our perception, and we resonate and experience life through the I Am Presence. But it is up to us as conscious co-creators to consciously live from the I Am Presence, creating the life of your dreams and manifesting heaven on earth. We are the world bridgers. We are merging heaven and earth together to create the eternal bliss consciousness that all living beings seek. So thank you for joining us on this great journey together and keep walking your sacred path with our beloved beings of light. We begin Discourse 15, November 21st, 1932. Saint Germain Invocation, Thou mighty conquering presence, the majesty of I am everywhere, we give praise and thanks for thy mighty presence everywhere. Thy all-pervading energy and power ever stands at the door of our consciousness for use, that we may consciously direct it to manifest thy wondrous perfection. Forever we give praise and thanks to thee for thy mighty presence. I bring you greetings from the great ascended host, always giving their assistance, that you may manifest perfection. The Discourse out of the glorious fullness of God's omnipresent light and substance comes the fullness of all things. The student who is strong enough, firm enough to stand alone with his or her mighty I Am presence, never dividing for a single hour the presence and power of God, will find himself or herself steadily rising into that mighty perfection, forever free from all sense or recognition of any limitation. The student is fortunate indeed who can hold himself or herself within this mighty presence, undivided. For the benefit of some of the students who are so sincere and yet are unknowingly allowing their attention to be withheld from that undivided presence, I wish to state certain facts with no intent to intrude upon the free will of the individual. These records, which I shall quote, we have within our possession, and they cover the past 100 years, the one thing humanity needs most, and students above all else, is the firm rock and consciousness of the mighty I Am Presence, upon which to stand safely and free from the pitfalls of outer concoctions. It is not the negative statements of the prospective death and the so-called ill-fated star force to be overcome that students need to know, but the unconquerable, all-pervading I Am Presence that is the only and all life of their beings to which their attention needs to be drawn and held there with a firm grasp. In the I Am Presence, there is no height the student may not reach, but by allowing his attention to be held by astrology, numerology, and the many isms of today, there is no depth he may not reach. The present use of astrology has no semblance of the use to which it was put centuries ago, then it conveyed no negative statements of any kind. The great harm of the attention fixed upon it is that students accept the negative statements far more than they are willing to admit. The sinister negative force generated by mankind in the world 
always takes advantage of such things as this is to get and hold the attention, especially of the student who is progressing and thus keep it upon that which will pull him down instead of raising him up. When there is a horoscope that indicates the death of someone, various minds become fixed upon that idea, and actual indirect murder is committed so subtle that individuals would be shocked to be reminded that they had any part in it. But I assure you it is nonetheless the truth for all of their surprise. Could the students of astrology see for one day from the great inner standpoint the destructive force generated and use through the present use of astrology they would turn from it from a poisonous serpent waiting to strike death into their veins. I say to you, beloved students, in the name of your light and progress and of all progress, stand within your own mighty I am presence and let not your attention be held or divided by any outer thing if you wish to avoid the wheel of birth and rebirth indefinitely. From the great love of my heart, seeing and knowing from the inner standpoint, as you do not, and cannot possibly as yet, I urge you to avoid everything that savors of a negative expression or condition. Then you shall rise on the wings of your mighty I Am Presence into that everlasting freedom and blessing of the perfect, eternal, limitless light. As I said, I do not wish in any manner to intrude upon your free will, but the gates of eternal freedom are open before you. If you will but believe the truth I have uttered which will enable you to enter within these gates and receive the eternal blessing of the light waiting there to unfold you. If there are conditions in your life, home or environment that you wish to be rid of, command through the mighty I Am Presence that they be dissolved and consumed before its mighty light and power. Beloved students who have come under this radiation, with you we shall not touch upon this subject again. May the I Am Presence within you enable you to see the light and truth of which I have spoken. I have seen within you the glorious light that can be quickened into a dazzling radiance, enabling you to express perfection. Hence of my own volition I have offered my humble assistance. But if the personality persists in allowing the attention to be held on anything but the mighty I Am Presence, which I know is the mightiest and only raising presence and solver of all problems, then my humble efforts must necessarily be in vain. I assure you, dear ones, you have reached a point where you must go up or down, with your determined attention and acknowledgement constantly held on the mighty I Am Presence. There is no condition, force, or presence in earth or heaven that can prevent your wondrous, glorious attainment into everlasting freedom and perfection. If you have not that within you which causes you to feel and tells you of the great divine love that enables me to voice this truth to you for your protection, then we must but wait such time as the truth of it does appear within you. When students and individuals have once learned of and acknowledged the mighty I Am Presence and then allow their attention to longer be held by or upon outer things, whether it be consciously or unconsciously, makes little difference for they are deliberately turning their backs to the presence, which is the source of their being and the life within them that enables them to move their bodies about. I declare with all the love of my being that I am the presence, enabling you to see and feel this truth, and stand by and within it for the sake of your own wondrous progress. Those who will hold steadfast enough to that mighty presence will find abundant proof coming into their experience of its limitless power and intelligence. Beloved students, many hands of the ascended host are extended to you to give their assistance when you can hold your undivided attention on the active presence of God in you and stand there unyielding to the pull of all outer appearance. Truth is mighty and does prevail. May you feel its majestic presence at all times. It is a mistake on the part of the student to feel disappointment because a certain thing he has worked on does not manifest instantly, when as yet he has not generated great enough power and activity to produce it that quickly. The attention must always be on the I Am Presence only. Suppose I were to declare, I am the mighty, I am presence in action, and then an hour later I allowed my attention to be fixed on a star in a so-called adverse aspect to me or an outer condition that indicates disaster of some kind. Do you not see how that would annul the statement I had made which would liberate the power of freedom? Jesus said, Ye cannot serve two masters. 
This means that you cannot divide the attention, for you must stop, look, and listen. I tell you, you cannot make steady progress if you give power to anything but your mighty I Am Presence. The unfortunate thing with so many students is that they do not hold long and steadily enough to the mighty truth of their being to gain momentum and strength enough to stand against the pull of suggestion and outer appearance. The strange thing to me is that when the student's attention has been once drawn to the all power of the I am presence, which is the only active principle of life they have, God in action within and about them, they cannot or do not see that they are dividing the power when the attention is fixed on the outer things, but delaying the magnificent activity and accomplishment which the I am presence would otherwise bring forth. However, having gone through the mill, so to speak, we have infinite patience to wait until the beloved student can grasp his scepter of dominion of this mighty I am presence and hold it. I could bring you records of the most appalling things done through the suggestion of astrology. Crimes are committed every week of the year by the suggestions given out through it. The suggestion given sets the law into action to accomplish it. When your attention is on a thing, the power within yourself goes instantly into it. If the astrologers do not stop holding the thought of death against, she will pass out. It is criminal. It is a child of God and is entitled to live here as long as is decreed. I shall do what I am permitted to protect. There are crimes so much worse than physical murder that there is no comparison because they are committed deliberately by people who know better than to do them. There is one certain unfailing action of the law, and that is that those who do these things must pay the penalty of a like experience. To negative suggestions from others say, I am the presence, annulling all this, so it cannot affect me, my home, or world. It is the easiest thing in the world to consciously dissipate something that is voiced in your presence. Simply say, I am the only presence acting here. To anything you do not wish to continue to say, through the presence that I am, this thing shall cease now and forever. Go after it like you are going to knock over a wall. When you really feel and mean a thing, you lose the power that does the thing. Try to realize the limitless power at your command. In the feeling is both sight and hearing, because we can both hear and see without using the faculties of sight and hearing. When one becomes instantly angry, he punctures other spheres of that quality, and the accumulation rides in. Jealousy is the wide open channel upon which every other destructive activity rides in. When things are done consciously, they have much more power. When the energy is released, it acts, because the individual has set it into motion, and it makes no difference whether he be king or chimney sweep. When the feelings are excited, they are accepting that instant. You can sit and listen to destructive conversation unaffected, so long as you control the feeling at the solar plexus. There cannot a thing enter your world unless it is invited. No good ever came of gambling. At one time, it had a most wonderful power and influence about her. She began to play the market and not only lost the power, but her money as well. Is it not better to stand with your I am presence than with a gambling channel? Anything that gets your attention is a subtle activity of the outer to pull you away from your freedom. For financial freedom, I am the riches of God flowing into my hands in use that nothing can stop. Say often, the presence I am governs every existing channel and manifestation. It governs all. A student's experience... The student had heard and seen an explosion of light while the physical body was asleep. If she had consciously said when she heard the explosion, I draw into my mind and body the strength of the light explosion, she would have received its benefit. The light was the liberating of certain powers for her use. In such experiences, the important thing for the student to do is to be alert and in every manifestation be conscious of the indrawing of its power, Rejoice that it is the mighty power of the I Am Presence acting, giving its strength and power to you. Command the outer memory to retain and bring into the outer consciousness everything you desire to know. When you use the I Am Presence, you have set the law into action and it cannot fail. God does not act except through the consciousness of individuals, else he would not have them here. 
God can only act in the physical world through his individualizations, and even all nature is governed by individual intelligence, the ground, the plants, and all. There is omnipresent all the force and energy needed for a given purpose when loosed by the I Am Presence. Thus, through the use of the I Am Presence, you can release power of which as yet you have no conception. During the war when Foch said, they shall not pass. He loosed the power by which that decree was fulfilled. He had been in prayer for more than an hour, and when he came out, he was so charged with God's energy that he, as he uttered the command, it became the governing presence in the atmospheric condition about him, and God acted. The words, they shall not pass, form a decree. It is dynamic, powerful, real, and looses tremendous power. There is only one power that acts. Give it full freedom. Stand with it and let it act. Stand in it and be it. There is no other power to act. This makes steady progress like a glacier coming down the mountain. You are steadily moving forward and gaining a momentum against which nothing else can stand. It is an infallible momentum, power, and means of achievement of all good things. There is no permanent dominion except in this way. For cleanliness used frequently, I am the presence here, keeping my clothes and home perfectly spotless. After a time, the force becomes so powerful that it instantly consumes or repels anything not wanted. The more you consciously act upon a thing, the more concentrated it becomes. When you say, the presence that I am, charge this with, you can charge the water so powerfully that it boils with the power of the energy there. Do not let anything question in your mind as to whether your command worked or not. Whenever commanding, say, I know it is acting with full power. Know what the I am means. Know what it is to you. Know what it can do. Get this and hold fast with unyielding determination. Within these students there is the strength and power to do this. And if they will stand with this mighty I am presence, great assistance can and will be given. Benediction. Mighty all-pervading intelligence, we invoke thy mighty wisdom, governing our every activity. We invoke thy mighty light, illumining each one in the fullness of its dazzling presence. We invoke thy mighty love to unfold all in its mantle of peace. We invoke thy mighty power, that love, wisdom, and power may act in perfect unity, that it perfects all things upon which our attention has become fixed. This now ends day 15 of 33 days of discourses. And by now, great one, you should have experienced and understand the power of this mighty I Am presence to affect your life in so many powerful ways that it is limitless and all-powerful and all-pervading. And through this activation of the I Am presence, we can accomplish all things. And ultimately, we can manifest heaven on earth together as conscious co-creators, living in the I Am Presence and being fully present, fully awake, and fully aware here now in this eternal light, eternal life of God in action, of God in manifestation through our mighty I Am Presence. So thank you for joining us on this great journey. If you haven't joined us on Patreon, be sure to do so at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And be sure to do these practices and mantras every day and be aware of the I Am Presence and be aware what is in your mind, what is in your thoughts, and convert these thoughts, anything negative to that which is positive, anything false to that which is true, and keep shining your light brightly into the night, beloved angels of the new earth. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.